our channel so basically what we have done is we have already unboxed the June Sakura Coast box so the theme again to remind all of you is Summertime, Summertime citrus. citrus yeah so we have already placed it nicely on different plates uh, you will notice that we have several other things that were not in the box this is not product placement you know um, it's just more of trying to tell you guys what are some of the snacks that Japanese people usually eat as well during summertime as well so some of the snacks that they enjoy during the summertime is of course mikan which I don't have but it's just oranges mm. because it's summertime citrus <laughs> But okay, um, so they eat potato chips. So this is uh, Kelby, so it's a Japanese brand. So they do eat a lot of potato chips uh, while snacking. We also have the Meiji ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is red bean with condensed milk. Personally, this is my favorite. Um, if you're in Singapore and you want to get this, uh, you can find it in Daiso and I think several supermarkets. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my favorite. And they also like to eat Pocky in Japan. I don't know if you have seen a lot of the Pocky advertisements. They will go like Pocky. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, so these are just some of the things that um we think should be included uh in 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 the box. Well, of course, this is curated and they find for us a lot of um more perishable goods. I I would feel and a lot of very very different things that I would not have thought of buying on my own. So uh yeah. So before we start uh. I will be, we will be tasting the food according to the order that was described in the booklet uh, and then we will rank them. Okay, you ready to get yeah. started? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's mm. start. Okay, so for the first thing that we want to do is that I wanted to highlight um, the maker highlight that they're saying in the book. So basically what they're saying is we have this here, which is the Saku Saku Seaweed Rice Cracker. So firstly, we'll want to talk about the maker highlight that was highlighted in this month's uh, Summertime Citrus. So what they're highlighting is the Saku Saku Seaweed Rice Cracker. So that is what we'll be trying later on. Okay, so first thing we're going to try is the Cocoa and orange fruit tart, the one that I say I think is going to be the best for me. So where does this come from? It's from Nakayama Confectionery in Toichigi. Okay, uh, it contains, well, traces of alcohol. Mm. I don't know, I love alcohol. Mm. <laughs> um, common allergens include egg, wheat, soy, milk, almond, and orange. Okay, so let's mm, try it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Okay, and yeah, I'm gonna just go for it. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's a little bit on the dry part. They can definitely taste mm. bits of orange inside. Yeah. The cocoa, sorry. <laughs> yeah. There's some crunching. Feeling in this. Mm. I think this is the citrus. Yeah, the orange. Um, mm. the cocoa is not that strong. Um, it's a tart that's not so sweet, which is what I like. Um, this tart is different from like the tarts I've been craving recently. So the tart itself is a bit softer. The tart crust itself. Um, I don't know. So European fruit tarts are usually way sweeter. So um, this is definitely a good contrast. It is. Kind of refreshing, but I feel it's something that you, you sort of need to take some liquids with it because it's really yeah, it's a little dry. It's really a little mm. dry, but um, still really good. It's mm. going off to a good start. Okay, so the next one we're going to try is called the French, a uh, fresh, fresh orange. <laughs> French. No, they are Japanese snacks. Sorry, disclaimer. Um, yeah, we're going to try the fresh orange cake. Also, so this is from Ten Key Confectionery in Nagano. So what it contains also traces of alcohol. Okay, citrus time. Mm. Summer time is all for alcohol. alcohol. Okay. <laughs> okay, it contains um allergens such as egg, wheat, soil, milk, and orange. You can help yourself. It's the smell is really strong. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's a very strong orange taste. Hmm. It's definitely a fresh orange cake. Yeah, it's light and I know it's really nice. It's really light. Oh, I love it. There are bits of mm. um, orange inside as yeah. well. I, I think it's really great. It's really light, really great. 
the bits of orange pulps in it. Yeah, I I think it's really nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, this month seems promising. Okay, next. We have the summer fruit jelly. Okay, so this is by Ibisu Confectionery Osaka. It also contains traces of alcohol. Okay, is this like yeah. a common running theme? <laughs> they have alcohol everywhere. <laughs> maybe because it's like citrus and alcohol. Yeah, it, it, like it goes drunk, well, maybe. Drunk on fruits. Okay, anyways, um, so common allergens is apple. It contains the mikan orange and grapes. So we're just gonna try it. Out spoon, mm. here you go. I have mm. no idea what I right. will take. I don't know how we're gonna split it. I will take the mikan. You can take the grape. No, you should take he loves oranges. He take the mikan. I'll take the grape. Maybe the grape's a sour one. No. Oh it smells It smells plasticky fake. <laughs> I I'm not loving the smell. Oh, Mm. The jelly is quite sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. Mm. It's sweet, normal sweet jelly. Um, the grapes okay. It's not. It's not sour. Mm. But the, the jelly the is as well. It's not that sour. Not that sour. Yeah, it's not quite this. refreshing. Actually. Mm. This jelly is definitely refreshing. Oh my god! Don't finish it. Mm. <laughs> we need to place it out there. <laughs> it's okay. it's refreshing for sure. The jelly sort of melt in your mouth to a certain extent. It, it dissolves really quickly with my saliva, so yeah, uh, I think it's, I think it's regular to be honest. Yeah, it's regular jelly. Um, I've tasted better jelly, uh, like the ones you can buy from Don Don Donkey. Woo! Um, mm -hmm. yeah, full of fruits and oranges. Yeah, that that costs like about three fifty sing yeah, dollars. Yeah, so I I like that one more than this, but this is definitely more refreshing. The one Don Don Donkey is more. Actually, it's still quite it's still refreshing. Quite refreshing. There's lots of fruits in there. Right, mm. yeah. Okay, okay, let's move on. Uh, next is something that similar to what we've tried previously is the Summer Citrus Monaka. So that's this one here. It's from at Gucci Confectionery in Fukuoka. And well, it doesn't have any common allergens, but it, it does contain gelatin. Okay, so let's let's just try it. Basically, uh, you know, got some feedback from the last video from our, mm -hmm. you know, from our friends, and we are trying to improve on it. So you know, please bear with us. We are not professionals yet, so I'm just gonna go for it. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, actually, mm. it tastes quite similar to the previous one. Yeah. Hmm. I do taste the citrusy though. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay, I just saw a note here. It says Japanese summer citrus, Hyuganatsu. So I don't know if you remember in the previous video where I talked about the um, opening statement, Hyuganatsu. Um, but yeah, um, basically it's just another term for a different kind of orange, I think. Yeah, that they grow. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm, that they grow. So I, I, I think it's quite nice actually. Mm, it's quite nice. Yeah. It's it's not as overpowering as the previous one. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't even remember how it was, but yeah. Um this is more light, I feel. Yeah. But it this does taste really similar to the previous one. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. What's the next one? Okay, we have the tea. So it's the mm -hmm. matcha infused gen my cha tea. Um it's from Saitoen and obviously you no know, allergen. So let's go ahead and try it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's light. Yeah, I can definitely taste the gin of it. The green tea washer? Yep. Mm. Actually, there's a little rice flavor. Oh, is it, there? Yeah. Which is, uh, which is actually gin Ah, oh, I, I don't taste it. It tastes like green tea to me. But okay, mm. so... um. In the tea itself, the tea bag, I do see like, I don't know if it's sesame or what. Maybe it's like rice in it. Um, okay, maybe it can help. Okay, I'll hold. Not sure if... <laughs> okay, I highly doubt you can see it, but there's like bits of... Oh, it's flying around. There's bits of like, I think maybe it's 
not rice, but like sesame, maybe like sesame yeah. looking stuff inside when I first put mm. it in. But yeah, it's it's a really light tea. I guess Japanese teas are generally quite light, so um, yeah, it's good if you're eating with lots of sweet stuff. Uh, or rice cracker to enjoy this tea. So I th I think it's it's okay. Just that it's a light tea. So if you are like, you know, <laughs> you like black tea, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. this tea is way too light for you. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. So next is the hoji cha warabi mochi, mochi, which is something similar that we had the last round as well. Mm -hmm. Um, which is this. Uh, common allergens include soy, and it's from Nakajima, Taishodo, Osaka. Um, it also contains. Liquor, but evaporated. It's common running theme, honestly. Uh, okay, so they have the hojicha. Um, I forgot what it's called. Oh, hojicha kinako. kinako yes, his kinako powder. So we're just gonna put like a lot more of it on top. Oh, it's. Mm. It's. It's a little different from previous. Oh, it smells one. like. It smells. It's a little greenish. Yeah, it's a little greenish. It smells like tea. Which I'm not complaining. I mean, I like green tea, so. But I like coffee too. What are you, a coffee or a tea drinker? Let us know below. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, it's gonna fall everywhere! Okay, 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 I got it. Oh, it's strong smelling. It really smells like tea. Mmm. Mm. Uh -huh. Definitely matcha. Hoji cha. Yeah, hoji cha. <laughs> yeah. Um, the taste is really there. Um, mm. It's not something I really enjoy. I think it's okay. Um, just like the previous warabi, it sort of melts in your mouth in mm -hmm. a sense a little. Um, refresh is it refreshing to you? Mm. I guess the jelly is quite a cooling. Yeah, in I mean, sense, in a refreshing. sense, in a sense, it's <laughs> not, it's not heavy. Like I wouldn't say if I eat like lots of this, I will feel full, but mm -hmm. not gelat. <laughs> like if you know what gelat means, but yeah, it's 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 okay. I I guess it's we'll lick the spoon. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Definitely, the kinako powder is very. Hmm. Very hoji cha. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. I guess it adds intensity in that sense. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So we have next one is the matcha taiyaki, which is our cute little fish. So what's inside is oh sorry, it's from um Haraya in Shimane and it contains common allergens such as egg, wheat, milk and soy. So inside would be matcha and it's quite pleasant to look at inside. Hmm? Okay, I'm not gonna cut the head. We're gonna cut the tail. Oh, it's so satisfying to cut into this cake. It's really nice. Okay, we are going to try. Oh, it's quite a generous amount of matcha, to be honest. It smells good. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You flush your mouth with a lot of matcha. Taste. Yeah. Hmm. It's a generous amount of matcha, honestly. Um, I think it's quite good. Mm. I actually like this. Mm -hmm. The like matcha that. helps yeah. to give it that that um moist. Uh, I I I realize that some people don't like the word moist, and I don't understand why. But yeah, it, it helps to give you that kind of more mm. moist texture that that yeah. that helps improve. Like this was really dry, but this is that's a good balance. Yes. In, mm. in it that, That's how I feel And I, th I think it's really nice I don't yeah, know It's really nice too Yeah, yeah. That's what I think too Great Okay mm. Let's move on I have no idea how many we've tried already uh, Oh okay Next is the Uji Matcha Cake By Ash Foods In Okoyama So That is this one here I'm not sure you can mm. see it. Yeah The whole loaf of the cake I mean Crazy But yeah Okay Um. So what this contains, um, common allergens would be egg, wheat, milk, and soy. So it's basically a matcha cake. You can pick mm. one up. 
Okay, I don't know how you guys feel, but I personally enjoy the ends of, well, cake, bread, anything. It's really... Mm. I can hear it sniffing it so loudly. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's really really good. Yeah. I don't think we got the part with the... You ate it already? Mm. I don't think we got the part with the red bean, I just noticed. Uh, okay, but okay, let me just try oh. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Quite fluffy, I think. It's really good. Oh, the matcha flavor is there, but you taste some tea flavor actually. Yeah. Oh, it's really good and it's soft. It's moist. <laughs> soft, moist. Um. Oh my god, it's really nice. Yeah, it doesn't dry I, in your mouth. I like it. Mm. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Definitely my favorite so far would be the Uji Matcha Cake. That's really nice. Okay, we'll move on next to the Plum and Wasabi Okaiki. Oh. It's by Iwatsuka Confectionery and it contains allergens such as soy, milk, peanuts and shrimp. That's cool. Um, so that is this one here, the one with the nuts. So basically, the cracker itself has flavors of sour plum and slightly spicy oh, wasabi. wasabi. Now I am wasabi. apprehensive about this because it be very nice. I don't like wasabi. I, I guess it's just a little spicy taste. That's all. <laughs> okay. Probably. Funny joke. What just happened last night? So we tried a Japanese snack. Uh, so we had like those tiny little crabs. I used to eat like a lot of them when I was younger. Uh, but I know uh, from memory that I grew really sick of it. So last night, I mean, he has he don't remember that whether he tried it or not. So they say when we tried it, and I ate the wasabi one, I just spat it all out. It was so <laughs> disgusting. I generally do not like wasabi. Mm. I hate it when the chefs put wasabi in the <laughs> sushi because they say it's a standard. Like it's supposed to be yeah, that. It goes oh, well with it. I hate the feeling Sorry. of it entering up your nose and coming out. It's so, right, it's so good. Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just try it because oh, I, I am not okay. gonna like this. Yeah, let's hope I, it goes up the nose. I hate you. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. Oh, I, smell. I, I can smell the wasabi. It smells spicy. Oh. oh, let's let's just pop it in. Oh. Okay, let's just. Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. No, oh. it goes like this was a bit. Oh, oh wow. No way. No, I actually like this. You taste oh. just like the snack, that the green colored bean. Oh right. Wasabi I like that. I like the snack without the wasabi. Okay. Oh wow. This is this is a nice shrimp taste mm. that I managed to think about. <laughs> Does the nut have wasabi on it? No, right? Usually hmm? you don't. No wasabi taste, right? On the, on the nuts. Usually no. they don't. Like, on the nuts, there's no I'm wasabi taste. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I almost I like, spat it out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, so tried good. To just down it. Actually, it's um, nice. Mm. Okay. Honestly, if it didn't have the wasabi, it would have been good. For me. Mm, but I like the wasabi. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice snack. Just yeah. I do not like wasabi, so I am very biased on this. I have no idea how we're gonna rank this. Mm. But if you remove the wasabi taste, the prawn in the cracker itself is quite yes, prominent. It's quite nice. Yeah. Um, I don't remember tasting sour plum. Yeah, there isn't. There isn't Nathan? a taste of sour plum. It's only full of wasabi. Why don't you try it again? Like lick it. Huh? Lick it and see like lick on it. the outer part. It's Sour plum or wasabi. Okay, come on, we gotta get a f like full close up on this. Like... Mm. That's so gross. You still taste a lot like wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> no, why, why don't you try it now? No, oh! It's the same piece. Ew! 
Thank you very much. Just eat it. Just eat it. And we are moving on to the next one. Okay, now we are going to um the highlight of this month's box. The Saku Saku Seaweed Rice Cracker. <laughs> Oh yes, you notice uh, we've used their tray, so we place like the rice crackers on the tray because that's usually how like the Japanese people usually do it. So yeah, so this is um what was I saying? Um oh yeah, this is like the highlight. Um it's it's a seaweed rice cracker, so let's hope it's really good because it is the mm. highlight. Okay, and there are no common allergens, it is vegetarian friendly. Okay, let's each take a bite. Mm. I'm not gonna cut this. Yeah. Have a bite. Mmm. 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 Can't really go wrong with the rice crackers. Yeah. <laughs> exactly my my thoughts. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice. You can mm. taste the sea. So if you don't like seaweed, um, you can buy some of the other crackers, I guess. But generally quite nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's move on. So now we are coming to the Komachi chestnut pie. Um it's the Maron pie. Oh yeah, so we else looking for it here. Okay, so um it's from Kawachi Surugaya Osaka and it contains allergens such as wheat, eggs, soy and milk. No, it does not have any um alcohol in it. How disappointing. Yeah, but it's still sweet and refreshing. Oh right, yeah, that's right, that's right. Mmm, <laughs> oh. What? Oh actually there might be no fillings in there. What? It might no, be it's a whole, chestnut pie. It might be the whole whole pie is already filled with no, chestnut. No 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 no. This is the filling. The white color thing is the filling. Yeah. Mm. Okay, maybe I'll just oh. show you what it looks like. Um, oh. Okay, it's taking a while. So th this is what it looks like inside. So I think the white color portion is the chestnut. Oh, oops, sorry. Okay, and it smells good. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's, actually, it's, I wonder is it savory or sweet? Because the outer crust is quite savory, but the inner part is sweet. It's quite nice. Mm, it's quite nice. The aftertaste is refreshing. Really good. <laughs> the aftertaste is refreshing. Yeah, it's really sweet and refreshing. It's, yeah, it's actually quite nice. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I feel it tastes. It tastes like something. I'm trying. I'm just yeah, trying to remember. I'm not like, sure. Like a traditional Chinese pastry. You mean for the outer layer? Like, yes. Like, like but the for the in, inner layer, I, I, I don't think so. Like um, the bean paste. Oh, it tastes yeah. like mung beans, but mm. lighter. You know mung beans? Yeah. I'm not sure. Mung yeah, beans. yeah, 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 yeah. But lighter, yeah. So that that's what I think mm. it tastes like. It's it's quite nice to be honest. So far, the stuff does taste generally quite mm. nice. Okay, now we're going on to the one that I am super impressive about. It's the Waraku no Sato Salt Yokan. So it's from Yonea Chiba. It contains allergens such as soy. Um, it basically blends the flavors of sweet anko with a salt accent. And that is. Oh. This thing here. So remember, we have that two um like Tube stick looking, looking thing. Yeah. Um, the one that I I did guess that it was this. Just I didn't know what it was called. Is this like thick jelly like mm -hmm. thing that they have that I really do not like. Um, wow. I wonder does it taste salty? We are gonna half that. Oh okay. We're definitely gonna. I I don't think I can eat most of it. Okay, can you just like oh. put it down here? Yeah, just put it on there. I love this cake, it's really nice. Oh. I wanted to half this half. <laughs> oh, there's no smell. There's no smell. It's just, oh, it's gonna be so bad. I don't know. I hope it's good. Let's try it. Hmm, 
there's not much taste actually. Yeah. I don't taste anything. It's just, it's just, it's just a little salty. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, sweet uncle with salt accent. So it's like I think compressed uncle beans. Like I like uncle beans, but I just, mm. I am okay. not a fan of the texture, and taste, and it's it's so far ranking. Mm. Okay. Last on my list. I personally don't like this thing at all. Yeah. So it's not. I don't like it. I don't know what else to say, but I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's just move mm. on. Um. Next, we have the Azuki Doriyaki here. So we have another Doriyaki. This one is really nice. Um. It's from Ake Nemaru. Um. Common allergens is wheat and eggs, and it contains traces of mm. alcohol. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> yeah. So inside this pancake, you'll find. Uncle made from five colors of sweet beans, balancing the elegant flavor for sweet visual appeal. So basically, it's just a red bean doriaki. Okay, it's gonna taste great. Doriaki generally taste awesome. There's some bean thing there. Yeah. Oh. 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 What? No. Oh, the bean taste. I like it. It's doriaki. Oh my god! Oh. Do you hear that? Do you I hear don't that? Really like it. Yes, when he does that, he hates it. What about it do you not like? The taste. I don't like the taste. It tastes like doriaki. It gives me a weird taste, actually. I don't want to, it just tastes like a regular doriaki mm. to me. What do you eat that's so different from mine? Yeah, we, it's, uh, we cut like the same cross Yeah, section. Well, probably I just don't like it. It's super weird. The taste is a bit throwing me off. Oh, it's, it's just a regular azuki doriaki. <laughs> when he makes it some, <laughs> you know he really oh. hates it. Okay. Let's just move on. Okay, the next one we're trying. Uh, I'm not sure how many we have left. Oh, is this the last one? It's the last oh. one! Yeah, looks like that. that's the last one. Oh, yeah, it is. A, I'm like counting. It's the last one. Okay, so the last one for today is a mochi azuki jelly from Marushin Foods in Nagata, and common allergens include egg. So this. So last one, we have yet another mochi selection. Mm. Mm. There is no smell in this. Okay, so we are going to dig in. Each one of the... Oh god, it's really hard. <laughs> oh, I don't like the smell. It's just regular mochi. I don't really like the dango in this. Little Sweet jelly. It's is it jelly? There's so much going on in my mouth. I don't even know what I'm feeling. Oh god. I think even the previous one is better. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's cognac jelly. I have no idea, but um. Mm. Okay, once you get past the mochi portion, for me, it's okay. Prior to that, oh, I do not like the mochi. Um, it is on the sweeter side. Out of um, a lot of the desserts, that, uh, a lot of like the other snacks that we've tried, it's more on the sweeter side. So yeah. Okay. okay so um, just give us a while to sort of clean up a little bit, and then we'll get right back to ranking. Uh, okay, let's rank them. Um, now. What is your first choice? Mm. Must be this. My first choice. <laughs> oh, my first choice is this. No. This is really good. God. For people like me, maybe that who love wasabi a lot. Whenever I eat sushi, I will dip lots of wasabi yeah. with, with the soy sauce. God. This is my first. My first would have to be the Uji Matcha Cake. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, is it the orange one? Mm. Okay, this is my first. I really like this. Consistency, cake-wise, it's moist. It's really nice. It does have enough strong flavor to you know for for it to, to taste good. To me, this would be my first choice. Okay. Uh, next, what should we go with next? Uh, definitely last. What is last in line? Last. To me, it would be this. No, it's just azuki doriaki. So no. ridiculous. It's no, I, I disagree. Like this is last for me. This is ridiculous. Mm. This is the most disgusting. No. Is See? it second place? Yes. Yeah, second Orange place. Cake. Followed by my taiyaki, I guess. For me, it will be this. This is third place? Yes. I really like the chestnut feeling. Yeah. But it's a bit dry if you keep eating it, I feel. Mm, but I like the savory taste, I think. Okay, let's not only rank about whether we like it or not. We have to rank if it's according to the theme as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the taiyaki, it's well, although it's matcha, but it's refreshing. Refreshing. Although it's not citrus, but it's refreshing. It's the chestnut well, refreshing. Well, actually, the chestnut actually gives a very it's not. summer feel. Ah. You know, people eat chestnut during summer, and then they feel very warm, even warmer. You know, it's not supposed. It's supposed to feel like refresh. Well, chestnut actually, if you had made into a drink, it can could it could be very refreshing too. So chestnut is really good. Oh, I think a rice cracker should go. I yeah, have... I think the rice cracker should go in one of the first Yeah, because it's, it's really quite nice. You can't really go wrong. And it's, as they say, mm. um, I mean, this is the maker's highlight. Uh, it's really crispy. It's really nice. It's it's light. And you are guaranteed the taste of the sea. I mean, of course, you don't like seaweed, then mm. you probably rank it last. But it, actually, this is actually really mm. quite good. It's actually good. I, I, okay, let's just put it at fifth. Is this jelly is foam like. Yeah, same. Uh, which jelly do you like more, this or this? The one that fits the tea more, I guess is probably this. Because this is just hoji cha. But this is more ref refreshing than this. Alright. We shall give this a chance then. Okay. It's definitely different. I will say okay. this. I'll prefer this than the tart. Right? I, I'm also leaning to that way. Yeah. We are left with the tea. Well, I guess we dump the, the tea, the tart will be dry. Actually, like, <laughs> the tea the and tart together it's a match. will put it like further up, I feel. But for yeah. now, it's gonna be like that. Okay, so because of our varying taste buds, um, this will be our final ranking. Yeah, so let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, just remember again, the theme is Summertime Citrus. Yep. And, and also not forgetting that oh. this month actually a Mother's Day month Right! Yay. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out yeah. there Yeah, because your mom is worth it Yeah, you could actually <laughs> get a Sakura code box for your mom Oh, that's month. true! Oh, they are having a giveaway if I'm yeah. not mistaken So also, you know, let us know what you're going to do for Mother's Day Yeah! Anyways, happy Mondays to everyone and all of you have a great, great time. Day. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye.